Hi, Dr. Romano. I see you're still here. I was working on a few of your problems and in the Facebook group looking at all those high scores coming in. I'm next. What's let's this? Have, let's have a look at a nice organic chemistry sequence. What I'm going to do in the first step here is I'm going to take cyclohexanoin and I'm going to treat it with LDA that's going to remove off the alpha hydrogen and we're going to do a simple SN2 and put on a methyl. And that would be A. It's a simple alkylation. Then we're going to do it again and we're going to do it on the other side since LDA is a large sterically hindered base. It's going to remove the hydrogen at the less substituted position meaning the easiest one to remove. So we remove an H and then we put on the other methyl group. Then from B to C, I simply reduce down the ketone and that gives me my secondary alcohol. Then I'm gonna heat it and do the E1 reaction. Now, hopefully you can get to that point. You did the E1. Now what I'm gonna do is I suggest to number the carbons in the ring so no one gets lost. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then ozone, followed by dimethyl sulfide workup or zinc and acid simply breaks the bond between the one and the six where the double bond is and you put in the carbonyl group. So if you did it correctly, which you should go off to the side and try it, you should come up with this compound. Now when you name it, the aldehyde gets the lowest number, so I'm going to number it this way, and the name would be 2-methyl-6-oxo-hep to now. All right, I hope that helps on a really good, strong problem that you are most certainly going to use for the DAT exam. Okay, Dr. Romano, are you going to be here later today? Yes, I will. Good day to you. Good day to you, sir. I'll come back with a lot of questions. You're my private tutor. Good day to you, sir. Good day. She, she's always here.